Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming at you live from Phoenix, Arizona, Jerome's bedroom. Today we're talking Future World, <laughs> the second movie. Well, I guess it's the movie after Westworld. <laughs> or still the second movie. Yeah. I think it's called a sequel. Yeah. That could be a good name yeah. for it. Yeah, um, the so sequel to Westworld. So before we get much into it, on your guys' scale of like the worst movies you've ever seen to the best, where does this lie? I will never watch it again. But you said that about Westworld, though, also. Yeah, but I'd watch Westworld again now. Before you watch this? Yeah, absolutely. How about you, Hess? I like this movie better than Westworld. Really? I did. Oh, my God. This movie was a total <laughs> piece of shit. This was, like, the worst movie I've ever seen. What did you like about it? Yeah, I don't know. It, it just, to me, it seemed more in-depth than... In-depth? <laughs> they didn't even go to Future World, really. They went to they... Mars. They were in a spaceship. They went to Mars. They didn't go to yeah. a different place. They went to multiple places, and that's their future world. I don't know. Maybe I was just in a better mindset when I watched this last yeah. night. I it don't know. It was fucking horrible. I mean, I'm not saying it was the greatest, but I liked it better than Westworld. Well, I mean, I, I didn't. I, I, See, nothing happened. I think Westworld's better they only tried because to... Westworld had stuff that I could relate to with the other show. I, I think this was one of the worst written movies I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. All right, so before you like, yeah. before we start like talking about shit yeah. like that, um, Hess, what was the story of Future World? Yeah, what was the story? Since it's like your favorite movie now. What's the story? <laughs> I never said it was. A, I said I liked it better than Westworld. When it was done, you're like, oh which my god, let's just watch much, it again because I gave Westworld three chicken nuggets. Yeah, but we're gonna give this chicken nuggets too. By the way, oh, yeah, that's what I assumed. I assumed. So, so what's, what's that's the, like a rating meter now? Yeah, what's the story? Like a rating of, meter is chicken nuggets of Future World. God damn, the story of Future World. Yeah, I'm kind of interested because I don't know what the story is. And I watched the whole fucking movie in fucking 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I watched the last 45 minutes with you guys. It, it only felt like an hour and a half, though. That movie felt like it was three fucking hours long. Yeah, it was horrible. Okay, but go, tell us the story. Anyways, the story of Future World. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dude Man wins a prize. <laughs> on uh, Dude Man. You... Is that his IMDb credit name? Yep. Dude Man. Dude Man. Dude Man with the bad suit. Uh, he won like fifty thousand dollars, and then a trip to whatever <laughs> future world. It was it was just Delos. He could pick yeah. whatever he wanted. Right, right. Uh, so then you we meet a reporter, and uh, this guy has a story for him. The he meets him, and he's been stabbed. Gives him the package. <laughs> like now, when you say can, package, can you see yeah. why this is his? <laughs> hey, he thought this was better. Yeah. So yeah. interesting so far. It is, isn't it? I like how those two tie in. Guy wins a thing, and then we meet a reporter. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just dice. giving you the run through here, you know? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so the reporter uh, reported back in the day. <laughs> the <with> reporter reported. <laughs> wow, <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> I don't know. The reporter reported back in the day. Uh -huh. uh, about the incident of Westbrook. Yeah, about, you know. The, oh, I got the, you. The, yeah. the, the people losing their mind. Because they only... They only turned off Westworld, which makes tons of sense, because yeah. everyone died everywhere, so let's just turn off one. You know, like, if the Matterhorn goes off the fucking rocks and shit, you're going to close down Pirates of the Caribbean. That's basically what they did. Yeah. But because one pirate lost his mind in that place, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the people can still ride the other thing, but Pirates of the Caribbean is fucked. Jesus. <laughs> so, so yeah, so anyways, um, he gets his information, and then he... How badass was that table? That they were where the where they came up in the middle and had the TVs. Oh, that's pretty high tech for back in the day. Uh, nothing. It was it was it was it was neat, but I'd still like my <laughs> TV better. Did you see that? Did you hear that they spent one point five billion dollars to remake that? That's a lot of dough. Now you know it's just a movie, right? I'm well aware. <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, anyways, then they go there and. Do you know what year it took place? No, seventy eight, eighty three. 62, 99, <laughs> 2009. Sold. I think it was 78, wasn't it? It was made in 78, but it supposedly it took place in 85, they said. Oh. Uh -huh. Like, that guy's check said 1985 and shit. I read that. Oh, that was well, so that's two years. I got bored during the movie and started reading trivia Does that mean it. that Westworld was in the future also? Because it says this movie takes place two years after Westworld, they said. Yeah, I guess. So that, Westworld that, was 83. Yeah, apparently. I was born in 84. It explains a lot. I don't think it does, no, really. Not really. <laughs> Nah. I was born right in the middle of him. <laughs> so he's like Westworld point five, is what, what he's saying. What if I'm a host? You could be with all the hard things that come out of your mouth. <laughs> Someone's got to be commanding hey, that somewhere. Throw some water on him. <laughs> hey, iron. What do you call it? Iron, iron ass. Iron ass. <laughs> yeah. 
So, the moral to the story is they should have brought squirt guns to Westworld. Yeah, that solves your problem. Yeah, because just water and they shoot them down. So it worked. The, okay, wait. Before we, yeah, continue. Wait, what's I'm, this? I'm not want to talk. You about don't want to. Talk <laughs> <anymore>. <laughs> He's like, I'm sick of the. Well, movie. wait. This so he goes to Westworld with Gwyneth Paltrow's mom. Yeah, and they're gonna report what a dangerous place it is. But all they do is like it wasn't even her. about it wasn't even about the ro- the robots weren't doing anything wrong. It was the guy making the robots. Yeah. That was replacing people, and then he makes a replacement of Fonda of, and a replacement, whatever the fuck her name is, and they have to fight each other. Yeah, it was the and, dumbest the, fucking the, thing but, I've ever seen. And the replacements seen. weren't even robots; they were like Westworld HBO robots. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, I can read your mind because I'm made of you." Which does it? Well, the... and then ditto, bitch. <laughs> it's like so stupid. And that's uh, how. That's the, how they want. The, they they had like. A 45-minute chase scene, chasing each other around the fucking park. And it wasn't like it was Beverly Hills Cop or Lethal Weapon. No, it was, it was, you see the actor run into a room, and then, they, and then they turn the camera, and the same guy runs in the same room. No, 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 walks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then they show, like, a ladder. One guy climbs a ladder. Next guy climbs a rope next to the ladder. Now, it's the same actor. But my favorite part, by far, <laughs> that dream sequence. Holy fuck. But, Pretty badass. So she it? she sees Bill Brenner one time on a video screen of him killing people. And she's and fucking then, him. And then she dreams about fucking him for like 10 minutes. Of it dancing around. He's got her up and in the ropes doing all kinds of shit. They were literally dancing with a rope. Yeah. A red rope tied around her and they're doing all kinds of shit. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Fucking <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> like, and, and that was that was Yul Brenner's last movie. I see why. He was like, fuck this. I he, can't do this anymore. If this is what acting is now, I'm done. He's like, he fuck said. this. I'm retiring. And I'm going to die in seven years. And then they're going to put me in Westworld. Yeah. But, uh, You got God. some gas or? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he has farting? Mm-hmm. Stomach's upset. Uh-huh. So what was your favorite part of the movie, Hess? Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, if you had to pick know. one of these amazing favorite moments. Part. Favorite part. So many to choose from you can't pick? There's a lot. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you, so, I don't know, I can't, I can't believe you even remotely enjoyed it. I can't either. I figured he'd come in here, like, just as much as this, but, like, I hated he it. he told me out there, I watched first 20 minutes of it and turned it off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, He's only so full of shit with this so stuff. So, he, he likes that better than Westwood, but he won't give, like, Civil War a try, like Captain America Civil War. I never said I wouldn't give them a try, I just <laughs> said I, I never watched them. I, I I bet you if he watched one of those movies, he'd go, "Yeah, Future World's better." There's no fucking way. You don't think so? No, no one in their right mind would do that. Well, yeah, but he's uh, not in his right mind. Touche. So mm-hmm. did did you have a favorite moment of Westworld or not Westworld Future World? I was gonna say when the credits rolled, but <laughs> even that was stupid. Oh my god! It was a blue screen. A blue it was screen. yellow fucking it was yellow type. Font. Yeah, it was like Graham's colors. Yeah, I figured you liked that. <sighs> the opening of the movie was really fucking weird too. Where it zooms in on the main dude's eye yeah. for like fifty-two yeah. minutes, and then his eye opens up, and it's showing videos, and then it goes into his eye again, and then the movie starts. Everything, everything in that movie could have been cut in half. Did the uh, so? What about the part where he's going through little vents, and they see the robots type on a code, and they, of course they got to write it down, <laughs> and then they go, they type in the code. The guy takes fifteen minutes to do that. It doesn't work. So then he goes, and that's the hey iron ass cuts the fucking guy's face off. Uses his. Uh, his he eye. makes a mask out of it. Instead of just holding the face up, he has to make a mask out of it. But then he brings him into a building that he didn't even know what was inside there. So what was the point of going in there? He's like, oh, it wasn't there last time. Everything in there was different. Well, because so the what? point was because he's not allowed in there, so he knew there was bad shit going on there, but he didn't know what. He said that was the only building he wasn't allowed in. Yeah. yeah. The only room he can't get in was that room. So I mean, he didn't know what was Curiosity going on, but he... kills the cat. Yeah, he yeah, murdered. I liked him, too. I thought it was funny. He had a little C-3PO with him. <clears throat> Basically, kind of. Except it wasn't as annoying. It was weird. I I, I was kind of wondering when they first showed him that that was gonna be Yul Brenner, like he's gonna you know, put his face on finally. But then uh, no, then he got a stupid dream sequence, and that was his only part of the movie. Yeah, I read that that he was only in a dream sequence. So I wasn't expecting him anyway. Oh, so you had spoilers about <laughs> the movie? <laughs> Accidentally. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's good right there. Yeah. So. Don't, and that's probably what ruined it for you. Yeah, probably. You didn't like the movie because you read spoilers. No, I don't <laughs> think that was it. Uh, did you read anything else interesting in the IMDb trivia? No, not really. No, well, no, I, I knew that that's Gwyneth Paltrow's mom, Paltrow's mom, and then that 
you know, it's Henry Fonda's son, Jane Jane Fonda's brother. Oh. Uh-huh. Bridget Fonda's dad. <laughs> a lot of Fondas. There's a <laughs> shitload of Fondas. <laughs> related to them? Uh, you lost me. But, so, I mean, like, you said, you want to know who's in it? And I'm like, nah. And then you name them. I'm like, well, fuck, I know who they are. So maybe it won't be that bad. I take that back. <laughs> I mean, horrible. That, I I can't think of a worse movie off the top of my head right now than that. About the Toxic Avenger. Okay, never mind. That is pretty bad. <laughs> never seen that. That's a pretty that you that movie. There's part of the movie, like the beginning of the movie, before this kid becomes a Toxic Avenger, mm-hmm. where these teenagers are driving down Sounds the street. Sounds pretty gay. Not gonna lie. <laughs> these teenagers are driving down the street, and they hit this little kid on his bike, and he falls over, and they keep going back and forth over his head and killing Damn. him, smushing him to bits, and they're all giggling and laughing. That was Taylor's favorite movie as like an eight year old. Yeah, Taylor was fucked up. She loved all those fucking movies and made us watch all of them all the time. We hated them. Like, it was like the stupidest shit. And like, it was like, it's like bloody and gory, but like. Fake and stupid. Yeah, like it's just huh. terrible. And that was an eight year old's favorite movie. She also wow. liked Ghost of Mars, which is kind of like the same thing, but we in space. We tried to make her watch cube. Ghost of Mars again because, like, we were watching, we were like, this movie's fucked up. Why do you? It like used it? to scare the shit out of me. They're like at one point. It's cannibals on Mars, but like they cut people's heads up and put them on stakes and shit like that. Yeah, like they walk through and like all these people that were in the movie, all now, now their heads are on stakes as like they walk through and like we're like, why do you like this? Mo-? Like we were a little worried about Taylor. I think it's because Ice Cube was in it. Yeah, she had the hot for Ice Cube when she was young. But like it was still it was she was in a really creepy movies. Yeah, we she, we made her watch the Toxic Avenger kind of more recently. Back when we used to hang out with, you know, the guy with the M name? Oh. Like, you know how to say it? Mariota? <laughs> um, but we... <laughs> you can't say Mauser? I mean, I could, but... Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, if you watched it with him, and she was, like, embarrassed during the whole movie. That, like, she used to like it. Okay. Like, she was getting... Because like, I think Victoria was over, too. So, uh. like, she was getting, like, all red, and she's like, <laughs> guys, we can turn this off at any time now. Because she was just so embarrassed wow. by it. That's Which I think they're remaking him, I'm pretty sure, because... Yeah, I can remember it. Well, Ice Cube was in Ghost of Mars? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if I saw the cover, I don't know. I might have seen it. I have no idea. When did it come out? I, I don't know if you've seen it either. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. When, when did that movie come out? Well, <laughs> Taylor was born in 99. She's probably fucking five. I'm guessing the early probably, 2000s. Yeah. I don't know. Ghost Pam Greer's in it. It's got some decent people in it. It's not a good movie. It's not like, horrible, though. I feel like I have seen it. Do you remember why they go to Mars? I think it's they're gonna fight ghosts. They brought Bill Murray. Were there go- now? Were there ghosts in the movie? I don't remember. I don't think there was ghosts. He's in that gonna movie. look it up. Oh, he's yeah. We're gonna turn this into the Ghost of Mars podcast. <laughs> well, fucking better than that shit. Oh, uh, so which which would you rather watch? A season of Doctor Who? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Or Future World? <laughs> That's not a fair question. Like, which which would you rather do? And I like Future World is only two hours long. It's actually an hour and forty seven minutes long if you want to get Right. How many episodes of Doctor Who would I have to watch? It depends on the season. Most likely twelve, but depending on the season, some of those are eighteen, some of those are fourteen. I did see it. A long time ago. What year did it come out? Two thousand one. That was pretty close. Who's who's all in it? Ice Cube. Yeah, we've established (laughs) established that. that part. Uh Jason Statham. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. He's in it? Yeah. I don't remember that. Clea Duvall? Yeah. Rosemary Forsyth? Pam Greer? Lobo Sebastian? Okay, now okay. he's just yeah. making up names. Peter, no, Peter Jason? I thought he was going to say Dinklage. <laughs> Wanda De Jesus? Okay, is anyone we've heard of? Natasha Hemsdridge? Yeah, I've heard of her. Who's she? Uh, and Joanna Cassidy? Uh, She's the one... What's that alien movie? She's the alien. She's the killer. Blonde hair. Oh, Species. Species, yeah. I remember you used to love those movies. You're like, oh, it's but bu- bu- and you guys watch them. Joanna Cassidy. Yeah. Was in it. Well, she doesn't look familiar to me. Is that the girl from Species? No. Oh. That That's it. Natasha. You got a four point nine <laughs> on IMDb. Wow. Must have been really good. I don't remember being. No good. one ever. I don't said remember it was good. a good part of that movie at all. I just remember being oh, the terrified. Stakes, the ta- stakes of the head were. Pretty the, good. You know what's weird too? So t- Taylor. Yeah, goes, you were six. Yeah, I was, a, I was a senior in high school when that movie came out. That's weird. So Taylor she was born in '99. Yeah, the, she was two years old when that movie came out. Well, we didn't go see no, it in yeah, the theaters, obviously. <laughs> hey, let's go, little one. 
She's like, Daddy, bring me back to the movies. <laughs> That's back when she was saying, fuck you, Daddy King. Yeah. Mm, some popcorn sounds good right now. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So she goes from liking the Toxic Avenger to Ghost of Mars to really like shitty movies like that to watching Shrek 300 times in a day. And Jurassic Park 3. Yeah. How does that work in a kid's mind? Well, you have to bring her in here. I can't fucking answer this. <laughs> I watched La Bamba probably f- a thousand times. Yeah, but we, you're retarded. You know, a thousand times. I love that movie. Were you surprised like every time when he crashes no. at the end? You're like, oh my god, he died again. I, you watched Young Blood probably a thousand times. I've seen that once. I saw that a couple times. We um, have on DVD if you want to watch it. Me and it. him actually, we did a bet when I was really young <laughs> of who could watch. Uh, uh, we each picked a movie, and it was who could watch it more. Mm. I picked Dukes of Hazard, the one with. Um, Johnny Knoxville and mm-hmm. the dude from American Pie. Mm-hmm. And he picked Groundhog's Day. Mm-hmm. So there were some days where I would watch Dukes of Hazzard on repeat the entire day. I watched it like 10 times in a day. And I think he still beat me. I did. I don't remember. I don't, I don't like to lose. Was this in between you making YouTube videos of singing Jordan Sparks? No. No, this was like way before that. God, I wish we had that. <laughs> I know. That could be in the best of. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, I remember getting that. I remember you said it to me. You're like... This is my son. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Well, because I remember at the time, I was like, Taylor, what could I do to make a funny YouTube video? And she's like, go sing someone's song. And I was like, oh, okay. And, and, you, I, and then I never... You put on like a beanie. <laughs> you have like a beanie on. Really? Yeah. See, I don't, I, I I just don't remember, I just remember doing this in the end of the mirror. <laughs> really? yeah. yeah, I don't remember the video at all. Well, maybe if you wouldn't have fucking deleted it. Well, I remember you guys p- pulling it up on Kim and Steve's TV, and then that's when I deleted it. <laughs> because it was on... <laughs> <laughs> your guys' friend's TV with a bunch of other people over, and I was like, yeah, this needs to stop. <laughs> this needs to not be seen by anybody else. Uh, you there were some, some really embarrassing videos. Like, me and Taylor, we almost wanted to put on, like, 4 from Mafia or something, but then we decided not to because it's super embarrassing. Mm-hmm. But, like, there was a time where we watched Mima's house, like, when we were really young, mm-hmm. and we would upload videos to MySpace. So we, we, That's we, how old they are. We made our own... What's my, that? We made our own MySpace, like, for just me and her, mm-hmm. and we had we looked at there's like 15 videos of us. Like we made our own soda and did like an ad for it and everything. Like there's all kinds wow. of stuff for it, but it is like the stupidest. Maybe we shit should ever watch ever. those and then reenact them. Oh, that might be kind of funny. I think there's one where I'm having sex with an owl. What? Like you know, you know <laughs> I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> but... You know, you know, Mima's little Furby owl. Oh my. Yeah, Why we show Mima this video. We did huh? like a sex scene with it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like who is sticking it in my ass? <laughs> Ooh, there's like a, there's like a lot of effort. there's one where Dick Taylor makes her own lotion. It's like really weird stuff though. I don't know why we did. She made her own lotion. Like you could bring... How do you make your own lotion? <laughs> well, because it was lotion, but then like she. The like, fuck is wrong with we, you? We put paper around it and like wrote on it and stuff. Oh, so because you put a different <laughs> wow. label on it, you yeah. made your own. Well, it was an ad. This is my new monster. <laughs> it's called Smonster. <laughs> That's kind of what we Monsters. did. Monsters. I, like we had, I think we had Mountain Dew, but it was oh. it was pea flavored Mountain Dew, so we wrote on it called Mountain Pea. <laughs> wow, wow. We weren't very. Yeah, creative. we should probably watch those. No, I'm good. <laughs> you don't <laughs> watch them? Nah. And be like Future World too. <laughs> <laughs> I found them when I ended up. I was getting our old like stunt mania footage. I found uh, them then, and I was like, oh boy. And I called Taylor in the room, and she's like, we should show Dad this. And I go, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never hear the end of it if we show it to him. Yeah, Jesus we, Christ. We did a lot of little embarrassing videos back in the day. Yeah. Sounds like it. Fucking. Okay. <laughs> it was Jordan, it was singing Jordan Sparks, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it was just like a tattoo. Yeah. yeah. God, I... Oh, didn't... excuse me. Like a tattoo. I don't know. <laughs> it sucks because if anybody in this family hears that song, they instantly think of me. I wonder but why. But you did it. Yeah, I wonder why. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. If I sang... <laughs> A song on YouTube and fucking into the camera and making love to the mirror. <laughs> I wasn't. You'd, th- you'd think of me too. I don't think I was making love to the mirror. No, that's the way I interpreted it. I don't. I don't think that's really what happened. What was that? Seven years ago, you think? And how old was I? I hope you're old, older than fourteen. Yeah, I, I, I think, think I, it was between eleven and fourteen. I think I was younger than fourteen. What? When yeah. was that? Song, what, look up when that song came out, because it was around the time when that song was like on the radio. What was it called? Like a tattoo? Yeah, just look up Jordan Sparks' tattoo, and that should be like the first thing that comes up. Either that, or that one on her ass. <laughs> Did she have a tattoo on her ass? I don't know. Oh, I, re- I remember when I met her nephew or her brother or her sister, something like that. When I went to she went to uh, Sandra Day O'Connor. When I, yeah, I went to a- AMC. I rang up her I went dad. To, I went to the YMCA because I was in trouble. And uh, her either oh, brother, her either brother or her nephew was there, and like they were talking to me, and he's like, I mean, they could have been totally lying, 
<laughs> but he's like, hey, you guys know Jordan 2007. Sparks? 2007. Nine years ago. Okay. Oh, wow. How old was I? Motherfucker. <laughs> 12. <laughs> what? Yeah, see, I was younger than 14. But he's the one that said that you were 14. Yeah, I but just you, said, you, what, I you said, said ho- seven years ago. You said hopefully he was... I don't know. It, I knew it was a long time ago. Jesus Christ. I Thank God. Because I was on our old computer, too. Thank God we don't have that footage. That's too bad. That would be... What was that? <laughs> I, was, I don't think that was me. Did someone just shit their pants? <laughs> I think was, my, I think my stomach might have growled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. It wasn't me, though. Uh, God. So anything else big you guys want to say about Future World? Yeah, I never want to say it again. Throw it away. Oh, wait. Totally. It, was it was on Amazon it was Prime. Digital. Yeah, if you guys Thank God it. we didn't pay money for that shit. Yeah, every time we fucking go to Z's now, the guy's like, hey, you want to pick up Future World? And I'm like, hey, fuck off. The movie's terrible. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Like, oh, they know you there at Z's? It's like, oh, they're every fucking weekend. Yeah. Okay. Well, plus, we talked to the guy, and he's like, hey, can you get it? Because yeah, they always talk to people. This is before we knew it was on Amazon. I hate talking to Mom's always like, hey, can you help me out over here? And then she's like, hey, you know, I was just at Fry's. I saved like 15 bucks on steaks. I used this coupon. <laughs> I have six turtles in my backyard, too. That's we, true. We To give you an example, we were at, I think, we were at Walmart or Fry's. And I was wearing a, a shirt with a dog on it or something. Mm-hmm. And they was like, oh, I like your shirt. And then Mom started telling her about all her animals and all this shit. It made the lady cry because it reminded her of her, it, her oh, dog God. or cat that just died. And the lady was, like, in tears at the checkout. And I was like, can't you just buy your stuff and go? Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> I was home playing Madden. Yeah, I came home like, hey, mom made the lady cry at the checkout. Fucking. <laughs> so, Mike, right, so here, this is speaking of some weird shit. <laughs> My kids like going to Goodwill. I don't know why. Oh, Angel's going there today. They uh, they just like going and looking around. All right. So we're, we're there. I think this was the last time, they uh, two weeks ago. And... We're just walking around looking. I found like a hockey stick, like a full blown hockey stick, and <laughs> full blown hockey stick. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Not one of those half hockey yeah. sticks. Yeah. You find the full. So blown then uh, this lady comes over and says, "Hey, are you guys looking for a radio?" Because <laughs> you were holding a hockey stick, <laughs> and I was like, "No." I was like, uh, "No, not li- you know." Well, I found this, and it's a really good radio. I plugged it in; it works. <laughs> And uh, I see you got two... I, I, I mean, that have... makes it a good radio if it works. <laughs> Usually, yeah. She was like, I see you have two little ones. I thought that they might like it. They can plug their phones into it and listen to their music. Really? And I'm like... Why would you need to do what? that to a radio? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was like one of those, like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> no. MP3s or whatever. Uh, I love how he tells so it stories. Wasn't, it wasn't really a radio. Well, it was like a radio. I was think she... it had an FM radio on what, it. Was uh, she calling it a radio, though? Yeah, okay. and it was just so awkward. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what is this? I'm like, who do you... You just randomly walk <laughs> up to someone and be like, hey, do you, I think you, you, your kids might like this? Do you, you look like you need a radio. I was just like, what? So the real, It was just, oh, So did weird. you buy the radio? No. How much was it? It was, it was like 10 bucks. Oh, fuck that. You go to Walgreens yeah. and get a cheap one. It was, a, it was on a... It was like a Saturday. It was like 50% off. All items that had pink stickers on it or something, but... Oh, yeah, that, mom, that mom, was, she's like, well, I saw this item. Hopefully it's there on Saturday. That wasn't a get it. pink sticker item. Wait, what? She does that. Wait, repeat that. She's like, oh my God, hopefully this is still there on Saturday because it's half price. I'll go pick it up. What was it, $3? Probably. She does that a lot. Oh my God. What? I don't remember. One of the tables we ended up buying, she's like, oh, we'll go there on Saturday and get it. It'll be half price. <laughs> <laughs> we, probably th- we probably threw the table right now. Yeah, probably. Out. She loves to do that. One time she made us go all the way to the to the Goodwill by Mauser's house, his old house. Who? I don't know. I'm just saying it now. Huh. Um, just to, because there was a certain thing she wanted there, and it was half price day. Mm. That's your mother. Yeah. Fucker. All right, so. I just thought it was awkward. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I, I hate when people are like, hey, you want this? No. Fuck but, off. You need help here? No. If I need help, I'll find you. I don't you. think I've ever been anywhere where someone comes up to you and says, hey, do you want this? Especially if they don't work there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's even more weird. It's like, no, you you got it. I mean, you you did have the hockey stick though, so maybe she thought uh, you was were trying to listen to the Coyotes or something. Fucking weird. So what are you gonna say? I don't usually talk to people, like uh, like at Walgreens. I try not to anywhere. I can see that. I mean, you know, if they I'll, if they talk to me, I'll make it brief. But fuck that. I hate when the like, curious people walk up. Oh, do you you're finding everything okay? I don't know. That just bugs me. 
Yeah, okay, you're supposed to do that shit, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I That's get good it. good customer service. I get that, but it's still annoying. What I like is when you ask somebody if they need help, and they're like, no. And then five minutes later, they're still looking for something. I'm like, you sure you don't need help, <laughs> motherfucker? It's like right there. But, you know. Or when they come back up to you, uh, you know what? I, can you help? No, you told me that. Uh, you <laughs> Too late. Mer- <laughs> Time's up. Um, so we watched, what, 10 episodes of Westworld. Yeah. And we watched the fucking movie. Watched Westworld the movie. We watched Future World. Yeah. So then, do you guys want to watch Beyond Westworld, or should we just like, nah, do something else? I, I don't want to. Because we, we have a couple weeks before we have the Pope that starts. Young Pope. Young Pope. So we could, watch, we could either not do a podcast for like a week or two, or we could watch a different movie, or we could watch like a well, different didn't, show, or what? When's it come out? We looked, We did this last night. 14th. The 14th, right? yeah. Cause he or said 15th. It, he said it was the 17th, but that was like a Saturday 15th. or something. It's the 14th or 15th, it's I don't the 15th. know. I put it on the screen last podcast. The 15th. But yeah. yeah. You were the one who was wrong last yeah, time. Yeah, I was wrong last time and I admitted to it. So we, we have like a week, nearly two weeks. So what what should be the next thing we watch since we're not going to do Beyond Westworld because Westworld sucks other than HBO? I have no idea. Do you have any suggestions, Tess? Anything that you've been like, oh, I want Nick to watch this movie. He'd love it. Really. We could just do a random movie if you want. I th- didn't you say you want to do like a random podcast or something or just talk about whatever? Yeah, we could just do a podcast podcast. <laughs> Your podcast, podcast. We, just, we just have to write down a bunch of like podcast, shit that happened. As, not write down, but like remember shit that happened during the week and talk about it. Or we can even I might talk be going through it. a breakup, so that could probably be a lot to talk that. about. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. You wanna you could wanna be. do some therapy here and talk about it? Possibly. We, we, I'll let you know. Oh, that'd be interesting. Stay yeah. tuned to see if Hess is a single man. Next Brayden week. might go through the fucking roof. Speaking Ooh. of, we're doing. We're doing a giveaway. You can have S for the day. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, that's why you're okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Hey, Alphoons, you listen to this? <laughs> Pretty sure. He said you could suck his cock for wow. free if you want. You got to come over to Arizona, but the oh. cock's free. Wow. Settle down. about that? <laughs> oh, you charge? No. Uh, okay. What if he's like, I'll give you 50 bucks. Let me get that dick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's about the gayest shit I've ever heard in my life. Well, I'm not oh, saying it. Oh, said way Al- more Al- gayest. Al- Alphoons is saying it. Give me 50 bucks, I'll suck that cock? <laughs> yeah, that's what he's saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> How much money would it take for you to let him oh suck your dick? Jesus Christ, like $2 billion. <laughs> $2 billion? I don't yeah. think he's that rich. Well, he What if he's like, I'll give rich. you $2,000. $2,000 and I'll buy you dinner. Yeah, that might actually work, because I might need to find my, my own place here pretty soon. So I could be a down payment. Oh, you could room with me. You could lay in my bed. We can cuddle. Hey, there we go. Yeah, there. We could put, like, and then cam- you can suck his dick for we free. Could, we could put cameras in the corners, and it could be like Big Brother all over again. Yeah. <laughs> we could have Pleaka Brother. <laughs> that sounds almost racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Flick it, brother. I mean, maybe it's just the way you said it, but it sounds almost racist. Did I say it black or something? A little bit. Like, Flick it, brother. Kind of. Come on, my neck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could you imagine you two living together? Oh, God. That'd be First w- of all, I'd move out. Because <laughs> there's wow. no fucking you way. You going to live with me and Hess? No. I'm like, hey, Nick. Like, what's up, Nick? Back and forth with you? Fuck. So do you want to talk I about... I have to get a 40 every day. Do you want to talk about the new show we're thinking about doing? Is your great idea you had this morning? Oh, boy. Oh, uh, just the... Yeah, the, I the don't... Achieve, the achievement one. Just throwing the, it out there? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I My gamer score is like 173-something. Hold on. I'll check mine, too. I don't have my phone. I can't check mine. I have mine. Oh, you can check mine. Yeah, that's true. All right. Can you tell your idea? Okay, so my gamer score is 173. Um, it's 173,000, right? Yeah, yeah. not 173. <laughs> 173 gamers for. So I want to get to 200. I want to get to 200,000. So I'm like 26 and some change short. So like I was thinking, like just making it. I want to make make it fun. Like do like go for it. But then I don't know. Like do like a weekly thing where we talk about the games we're playing and what yeah. achievements we tried for, got, didn't get, whatever. Yeah, and then I to- I said too that we could like we could rotate each week whoever's playing a game. But, like, you'd be trying for an achievement that you want to get to help your gamer score out. So, like, they potentially could see you get some of the achievements live. So, my gamer score, which is really fucking annoying, is 97,001. <laughs> really? Yeah, look at that. One. So annoying. Like, zero, zero, 001? Yeah. Yep. How'd you get the one? Oh, is there's that? there's plenty. So there's of games so that... many fucking games really? that do that. Yeah, like DJ yeah. here. There's like seven point achievements, three point achievements. That's stupid. There's even some games that give you one point achievement. You know, I've been accused of being a dildo. No, oh. and like a numbers freak. You know, 
<laughs> it doesn't bother Stat- it doesn't bother me at all see it's, it's shit like that or like if if you're playing game, like you know in call of duty you unlock a new gun or whatever it says new when it glitches and it constantly says new on there bugs the shit out of me. oh no that shit bugs or like me when too. an app needs to update and it has like 10 on the thing but like it, when you update it still stays there no yeah i can't stand that you shit. know what annoyed me i just got nba 2k17 mm-hmm. so i install the game so i'm 173 297 I install the game. Look up pass. <laughs> okay. And I'm playing my very first game. And on the bottom left hand side it says update required. I just installed the fucking game yeah. twenty minutes prior. He always does that shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? He always does that shit. Uh, What's his the gamer tag again? Swanson out ninety nine. I don't think I'm friends with you. Right? You might not be friends with me. Let me go can I'm I look not, at your I'm friends? Not friends with You're not friends with Jerome? I don't, what a I don't, dick. I don't know. You can add me, I'll add you back. Uh, if I can find you. Yeah, well, if you guys are going to be rooming together, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, maybe. Um. got to get rid of that connect, though. Hold on, I got to figure out how to, how to, oh, here, search. Let's see. It's like 35 or something, 35. Swanson. 20. Yeah, I can't find you on here. Just go to my friends list. I, I can't go to your friends list. It's not working. Uh. Yeah, I'll try one more time. Let me try one more time. I can't really picture you doing that. Doing what? Like, going for achievements. Yeah, no, definitely not. You'd be like, I'm not playing fucking Batman. That sounds like fun. I can't have fun. No. But I was thinking, too, like, maybe when one of us gets really close... Oh, I found him. One of us gets really close to, like, getting our goal or getting where we want to be, doing a live stream to get to the moment. All right, so I added Hess. Um, His gamer score is 3,240. So you just try to get to 100,000 by the end of the year. His goal should be, like, 4,000. And then, Probably more realistic. Yeah, his, his is 4,000. Mine will be 100,000, and yours is what? Okay, so wait. He has to get think, 500 think, points. Yeah, think about how it takes him like a month to get maybe That's 100 points. That's the thing is I, I have like six games. Yeah, you got to make it realistic to them. You, well, you, you can, guys have how many goddamn games? You can borrow games. I don't give a fuck. You have everything digital. Not everything. I can't wait till Injustice 2 comes out, and then I can get achievements in that, too. So, well, let me get this straight. So, he has to get 500 points. Yeah. You have to get 2,999, uh-huh. and I have to get 26,000. Seems fair to me. <laughs> Suck my See, balls. the thing is, you'll get 26,000 in the time that we get that. Yeah, probably. Remember when I was supposed to get 100,000 last year or the year before? It was the year before, you no, dick. the year before, yeah. Me and Lemuina are friends now. <clears throat> you hear that, folks? Me and Hess are friends. Oh, yeah. So, I was thinking about calling the show... Who will quit first? Has. Because it's all of us like, kind of trying to get our goal. Usually I quit these things pretty quick. But I thought it'd be like, who will quit first? And I'll put like the achievement logo in the background behind it. You know a good name? Mm, it's a working title. It's a working title. But I, I like that one. That's my input. I, in there. I like the idea. I don't know if I like the title. Oh, so you just don't like my ideas, huh? I said I like the idea, you dickhead. <clears throat> That's for the audio listeners. Mm. Mm. Give a nice little burp to them. Well, had, I mean, there's a lot of games that, like, we haven't finished. Yeah, like, I started playing the third Assassin's Creed, or whatever Assassin's Creed you're a pirate in. Oh I, I played, like... You're not allowed to play pirate I want to do a video in that, because they could be like, a hard matey, I'm going to be sneaking around, mate. <laughs> That'd be, if I could be a pirate the entire... I can even get, like, in costume, put, like, an eye patch on and shit. Go speaking of that... I think that'd be great. Speaking of that... Don't encourage I forget... No, I think I, it would. We went to the mall on Christmas Eve. Which uh, is the dumbest thing you've ever done. No, and you've done a lot of stupid There was shit. no one there. There's more people fries. The, you're the same person that swallowed a goldfish this week. Yeah, yeah go check that out on Four for Mafia. I swallowed a goldfish, and then I attempted to puke it back up and get in the bowl. No, you didn't go, attempt it. You did it. I was going to say, go watch the video and see if I did it, but now, uh, they, now you spoiled it. But yeah, go, tease them. go watch the video. It's a pretty He's interesting video. Now. Oh my, why? If you want to tease him. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, <laughs> it's like the size of a goldfish. Oh, what was I saying? It's not that big. Oh, yeah, I was at the, we were at the mall. And we were sitting at down. The mall. We were sitting down somewhere, and a guy walks in with a little hat. With an itty bitty waist around, in your face you get sprung. <laughs> wow. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> but he had a big hat on. He had a giant beard. He had an eye patch. He looked like a pirate walking into the mall. And I was impressed by that. I saw a real life did pirate. You go, did you go out take a picture with him? Or? No. I just said, "Oh my god, look, who's a pirate." That's my. <laughs> that's my story. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I used to make a little video of that. <laughs> I walked in the mall, saw this guy, he looked like a pirate. And that was my story. Nah, there's my story. <laughs> well, because you were looking at me you, like, you don't give, more? You don't give many, you, you hardly give any detail, and I give way too much detail. <laughs> it was like, did he have like a parrot on his shoulder or something? No, but the, oh my leg? god. So, there was one, we were at QT, 
And we went in, we were paying. And all of a sudden I turn around and there's a fucking guy with a parrot on his shoulder. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? My mom didn't even see it. We walk out and I was like, hey, do you see the guy in there? And she's completely ignoring me. Talking about her fucking points she's going to get from what we bought or whatever. What? Uh, and I'm like, no. <laughs> her poison? Points. points. Oh, you get points from Quick Trip? I don't know. Something like that. Or we were just at Walmart, so it could have been talking about that. Uh, Anyways. Oh. But I'm like, there's a guy with a fucking... Uh, it wasn't a parrot, though. Parrot. Was it? it was a big-ass bird, wasn't it? It was a parrot, I think. It was like a pile on a cracker. It looked like that. Yeah. Green. Green. It was green. I wasn't there. But, so then he walks out of QT, gets on his motorcycle, his parrot gets on the back on a little thing, and they <laughs> drive away on his That's motorcycle. Funny. I was like, what the fuck is going on? That's, That's cool. the weirdest thing I've ever seen. That's pretty bad. I took like seven pictures of it, but I think I deleted them now. I sent you a couple, so maybe you have it saved. I don't say that shit. Oh. And it was pretty weird looking. Like I was like, how often are you going to go to QT and see a pair of There used to be a lady that shopped in my store that used to bring her. I don't know what kind of bird it is. I'm, I hate birds. So. <laughs> it's a big white bird, but. Probably a parakeet. You know, it was like this big. Parakeet. Parakeets are this big. Mm hmm. Wouldn't you be afraid that it would fly away if you had Parakeets are tiny. No, they're not. You can look, Google parakeet. And also Google parakeet. Oh, you know what? You're right. It's a cockatoo is what she had. <laughs> it's a parakeet. A, a parakeet. A parakeet. A cockatoo you got mixed up. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you be afraid if you had a it pet? It a cockatoo. If you had a pet bird, it would just fly Don't, away. So, <laughs> remember this story? Like, mm. my sister had a parakeet. That's uh, it, Not a cockatoo? <laughs> wasn't a cockatoo because it was little. But she had it, and then she also had a German Shepherd. Remember Baron? Yeah, he was cute. Yeah, I liked Baron. He was cool. So she let the bird out. Who let the bird out? Apparently Melissa. <laughs> and Baron ate the parakeet. Mm. So she comes to work the next day and tells me the story, and I laughed because it was funny. I mean, the dog ate was the Was this thing. when you guys worked at State Farm? Yeah. We worked for my dad. So, like, you know, she's like, you're such a dick. I go, well, why do you let the bird out when the fucking dog's there? If you know, you know. If you, if you like letting a bird out with Joey in the house. Yeah, you killed the, the parakeet. Yeah. Okay, so Janie buys her a new one. Mm. Never hear about it. And then one time, Jamie's in the bar next door, came over, he's a little tipsy. He's like, you know, she left the new one out of the cage and baronated again. <laughs> <laughs> so then I asked her about it, and she was all pissed off. Well, you so know like, she didn't say it either because she knew you were going to laugh at it. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, Meanwhile, we, she's a serial bird killer. Going back to the goldfish, when we were buying it, Will was like, well, what are you going to tell them? What if they ask why we're buying a goldfish? I'm like, well, why would they ask? <laughs> But then she got me thinking, and I was like, "What well, they do? Just tell me you're buying it for like for like your, a catfish or something." She's like, "What?" And I go, "Well, when uh, my dad and your mom used to work together, they had a little catfish and it was eating all the goldfish in there." It wasn't a catfish, wasn't it? No. Oh well, we were the lions said catfish, but that's what it reminded me of getting that because they were so tiny. Or you could have just said we're getting a goldfish to put in a bowl. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I was just joking around. We're gonna swallow it and then throw it up. <laughs> well, that's because she's so stupid. What the fuck? They care. They just want their forty-five I, cents. It was fourteen cents actually. There you go. Yeah, they, pretty, they, yeah. they wanted me to get one like fucking this big into it. And I was like, that's not going to fit down my throat. And then I'm, yeah, if I throw that up. fucking been puking all over the place. And then I was like, what if it like sh got scared and I scared the shit out of the fish as it goes down my throat? You probably did. And then it goes back up. Like imagine, how, what, what do you think it, he was thinking? It pooped. When it went down my throat, it came right back. It back bounced off my tongue too and went in the bowl. I mean, the same thing as thinking when you flush it down the toilet. Like, fuck. Or, you flush a live fish down the toilet? I, well, I would have no problem with that. I'll go do those three right now. You want to film it? I, I didn't want to keep... I, was, I told Willis you could take them home with then Taylor and they keep them. We used, okay, I don't know what kind of fish it was. It was like about that big. Well, actually, it was probably about that big. And then we fed it. <laughs> but we used to go on lunch break and go buy like 100 goldfish. And there was two fish in this big... My dad had this huge ass aquarium. So then I would just dump all 100 goldfish in there. Jesus Christ. And then by the next morning, they're all gone. Yeah, they'd all be gone. <laughs> That fish got fucking huge. <laughs> you think? A <laughs> hundred goldfish a day? So, well, that, we didn't do it every day. That, that's the next four from Alfie video. We have Hess eat a hundred goldfish. Yeah, go fuck your mom. Right there. <laughs> Jesus, it's not going to happen. I don't, I don't I'm don't. not going to eat one, let alone a hundred. Would you do what I did? No, that's disgusting. But the only problem is we had other fish in there, so then it decided to eat the other fish too. Oh, so you made it a cannibal fish? Yeah, got the taste for fish and it was just going crazy. There was like a shark in there. The, the shark was, and they used to fight. Who won? The, the, the big fish. One. Yeah. Do you don't remember what kind of fish it was? No, I don't remember. It, they're mean. I just know that. That's all I remember. I'm not. I don't pay attention. I was just. I, I was, was bored, man. It was There's, a piranha. It was not a piranha. 
<laughs> that'd be kind of cool. I, I, I bet that'd be interesting. One time to watch. it jumped out of the fucking aquarium and <laughs> landed on the floor. I was like, that's stupid. You're going to die now. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not picking you up. you up. Did it die? No, I almost came and got it. Did but you... I'm like, fuck him. He jumped out. Did he's you... a fish. He knows he's supposed to be in the water. I'm, well, like, he... I'm not getting it. No, I refuse. You're kind of a dick. Fuck him. Would you, would you have picked up the fish and put it back in the tank? I, I don't know, man. Probably not. Uh, although, I, 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 I wanted to I'm step on it. I'm calling you a dick. I mean, I did throw up a fish. But when I was putting it back in the other bowl, I was grossed out by, like, because we had a little scooper. I was grossed out by, like, poking it back in there. Yeah, I don't like So I guess I probably wouldn't pick it up either. Vic- yeah. Victoria's afraid of fish. See, Taylor even showed her this goldfish, and she was freaking out. I'm not afraid of goldfish, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> She's afraid of any fish. You should try and swallow a salmon. How big? I mean, I know they're big, but how big would that be? <laughs> Big, big There's no fucking way in hell. <laughs> you shove a salmon up your ass. Yeah, yeah that's the next and then one. Shit it out. If, if my video, or you know what? We should get those little baby octopuses. Oh no! I, mean, I would, I would instantly throw up and they'd be alive. They kept saying they were afraid I was gonna chew on the fish. <laughs> I was like, I'm what? just swallowing it. It's gonna go straight down my throat. But why would I chew it? Like, I don't know. You're retarded. Wow. Good point. But they, if you get the octopus, it, it can use its suction cups to suck. Oh my god! To stick to your aorta. And then you'll just have an octopus living in your there, throat. There was a time we were at Winco, and he was like, hey, do you want to eat an octopus for a video? And I was like, no, it looks fucking disgusting. He's like, oh, yeah, it's so slimy going down your throat. And I almost threw up at Winco. Well, because it was like just sitting there, and I was like, look it at it. It'd, so be like a, it'd be like eating like a giant oh. booger. Oh, my. It looks so fucking... Mm, slimy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> slimy. He's the weirdest guy I know. <laughs> How long have we been going for here? I don't know, I can't see. It doesn't matter. I can't see that. I was just wondering. I was We're just fucking babbling at this point. <clears throat> yeah, that's all good, though. All right, so how many chicken nuggets you give in the movie? Oh, oh I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that, too. Oh, yeah, so how many Fuck. chicken nuggets am I going to give Future World? Um, <coughs> I give it a, I give it half a chicken nugget. Wow. Yeah, uh, me too. I give it three and a half. Three, what, three did and he, half. what did he give? Three. Westworld? I gave Westworld three. Oh, my God. I said I liked it a little bit better. You liked it half Nothing a nugget Nothing fucking better. happened in this movie. If For anything, reason, he should rate it the, like it'd be equal. He said he liked it better. He should I, make I it half. I liked it better. You know why? But you I had half a chicken there, nugget. There was a lot more talk of sex in this one. I bet that's why. Yeah. Oh, Because awesome. the yeah. 500 robots couldn't have sex. That was my favorite part, too. actually. Whenever they made the copy of the guy and they showed his dick bush. Yeah, the yeah. DM was showed his Harry Cock. Yeah. <laughs> dick bush. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. They, they showed his dick bush? When I said it, you're like, oh, you must sounded disappointed. You didn't get to see his cock. Because you said that. You were like, oh, I thought we were going to see his wiener. That's not what I said. I said that is too what you said. I oh. said, oh, we almost saw his Harry Cock. No, you said, oh, we almost saw his Harry Cock. There, there was way less H's in mine. It was just like, mm. oh, we almost saw his Harry Cock. Oh. You st- fucking stood up like you could <laughs> I didn't try stand. to see. Well, because I was just like, "Oh my god, are they gonna show us Harry Cock?" Like I was surprised. Cock count. I mean, that's where Westworld got all their ideas. The ha- oh, probably that's where the Harry. Uh, Harry- I guess they weren't really that Harry and Westworld. They're just dicks. <laughs> that's where all the dicks came from. So, would you guys be very disappointed if like Westworld season two had some future world stuff in it, and they start cloning real humans and shit? Uh, as long as it has a point. I mean, I this guess that's right. a fucking I, point. Yeah, but nothing... Kind of like this podcast. Pe- 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 yeah. People went to the park. People left the park. Nothing changed. Nope. Future World will still be... Uh, Delos will still be active. And, and and Future World was probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen. We had quilts on. They literally got in a fake rocket. Pretended to go to space. And then didn't go to space. And then went and played and in, then, red, in red snow. Yeah. And the, oh and, my god! And it went it's, skiing on Mars. That's the that's the future. You oh gotta admit the 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 boxing game was pretty cool. That, the boxing that game was, was okay, cool. No, that, we talked about our that was part that part. was the best that part the of the whole movie. Part. That was cool. Like, how cool the, would that ro- be? Rock and sock and humans like that was fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, and the chess was pretty cool. Yeah, that was, was neat. It was like, it was like a it was a rip off Star Wars. But that yeah, was it was neat. total rip off of Star Wars. I love how every time Hess moves his mic, he goes. I'm gonna do that. Ready? No, you knock over the whole fucking mic. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so Future World is fucking terrible. Next week, we probably won't watch anything. We'll just sit here and yap. Yeah, that sounds so good. God, God we no- might have relationship stuff. Who knows? We'll see. Did uh, you just kick the fucking camera? Maybe on accident? Uh, well, if the ca- if you can't see us now, I'm sorry. It's because has kicked has the camera. Has kicked the camera over, so yeah. Sorry, guys. Had hey to guys. stretch the leg. Um, <laughs> thanks. You think, you think you'd stretch it this way, not that way? Well, I don't want to hit your foot. I'm not, big guy. I mean, if you want me to, play foot faith. 
Flip, flip, flip. Not really. Right, flip, well, flip, flip. Thanks for watching the Plika podcast or listening. This was our fiftieth podcast. podcast. This was the fiftieth podcast. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was the extravaganza. The fiftieth extravaganza. Wow. Yeah. Next maybe, week. Maybe we'll just delete this and the next one. Will be <laughs> next, this is fifty. Hey. Oh my god! I'm not playing that in. Why did you tell me that before? I we been... talked about it. That's what we talked about doing a giveaway and all kinds of shit. You're like, nah. I'm Nick. I'm just kind of a guy <laughs> in a nah, blue shirt. I'm Nick. Is, is this blue? Yes. yes. What color did you think it is? Purple? I thought it was gray. No, it's blue. You thought that was gray? It's blue. You colorblind Pringle. <laughs> did you just call me a potato chip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pringle All right, sounds well, good. Thanks for listening to Plinko Podcast. Come back next week when the podcast could go from five minutes to an hour and a half. Who knows? You never know. Uh, yeah, we, we gotta just shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we, we might have to talk about sports next week a little. You guys could if you want. Wow. Uh, I just thought about this. I don't think we ever introduced ourselves. So <laughs> I'm Josh. So oh. s- signing out from the Plika Podcast. I'm Jerome. I'm Hess. And I'm Nick. And we'll see you guys next week, Plikers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs>